Today I am going over my sneaker collection. It's a very simple sneaker collection. All my shoes are very affordable and are very versatile. All right, how are you doing today? My name is Aaron Ramirez. If you are new around here, I simplify men's fashion and fitness. So if you wanted to learn more about that, make sure to subscribe. But like I mentioned earlier, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my entire sneaker collection. So right now I have seven pairs of sneakers. That's not including my boots and stuff, but since I'm just showing you sneakers, it's gonna be seven of them. Like I said, they are all very affordable. And if you wanted to check any of them out, they're also gonna be linked in the description if you wanted to pick some up for yourself. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna be the one that I'm wearing right now, and that is going to be Nike Blazers, which retail for $100. These are hands down one of my favorite shoes just because they're very affordable and very versatile. I can literally wear this with anything that I want, which makes them one of my go-to shoes. If you already have some or you're gonna pick some up, I have a video on how to style Nike blazers, so if you haven't seen that already, I definitely recommend that you check that out. But anyways, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be Adidas Ultra Boosts. Now, I barely picked these up, but hands down, these are one of the most comfortable shoes that I have ever had. If you've never had a pair of running shoes or you don't have one right now, I definitely recommend the Ultra Boosts. This is probably the most expensive shoe that I have. They're 180 and even then that's not too bad considering how good these shoes are. Like I said, these are my favorite running shoes ever. Pretty much I'm gonna wear these on days that I know I'm gonna be walking a lot. I'm gonna throw these on just because they are very comfortable and they also really look good. So obviously I'm not much of a sneaker head, so I'm not gonna be spending a ton of money on shoes. So if $180 is in your budget, I definitely recommend picking up these shoes. Like I said, they're gonna be linked in the description, but if they're not, I totally understand all the rest of the shoes are gonna be under that price. All right, the third one on the list is going to be Converse Chuck 70s. Now these are slightly different from the regular Converse. They're more rubbery and they're a little bit more high quality in my opinion. And for that, they're gonna be $15 more, which is not bad at all. So these retail for around $80 to $85. The high top version at least, the low tops are a little bit cheaper. But either way, these shoes are definitely one of my favorite shoes right now just because they are very versatile converse by themselves are just a very affordable very versatile sneaker so i definitely recommend them but in my opinion i don't really like the normal converse too much anymore i prefer the converse truck 70s a lot more and if you haven't picked one up i definitely recommend that you do that if you want a very affordable and versatile sneaker all right the next one on the list is going to be air force ones now this is another very affordable shoe this is probably one of the most common shoes that you're going to find Pretty much everyone owns a pair of Air Force Ones at this point. I and mean, if you haven't gotten one, I definitely recommend it. That was honestly my first pair of Air Force Ones and I absolutely love them. They literally go with anything. Those are probably my daily shoes just because they're very versatile. I can literally throw them on with any outfit and it's going to look good. And for the $90 price tag, I definitely recommend it. So like I said, if you haven't gotten one already, I definitely recommend that you do. The link is going to be in the description. All right, the fifth one on the list is definitely gonna be one of the most underrated shoes that I have and that is going to be Adidas SC Premier. Now this is honestly really dirty. I should probably clean it, but either way the shoe is really good I got it in the off-white colorway, which I really like it goes with pretty much anything that I want So these are pretty much my beater shoes That's why they're so dirty because if I know I'm gonna go somewhere and they're probably gonna get stepped on They're probably gonna get dirty These are the shoes that I'm going to be wearing just because they are pretty comfortable and for the price tag They are very affordable as well. You can pick them up for around a hundred dollars Which is not bad considering they're very versatile very comfortable as well I usually use these for the gym actually so for a gym shoe, they're not bad at all, and I definitely recommend that you get some. All right, the next one on the list is going to be Reebok Classics. Now, Reebok Classics are usually my other beater sneaker just because they're only $75. I don't have to worry if they get dirty or not because they were very affordable. And of course, since they're the color white, they literally go with everything as well. I also have a video on how to style Reebok Classics. If you wanted to pick some up and you want to learn more about that, I highly advise that you check out that video of mine. It's pretty old, but still to this day, Reebok Classics have been one of my favorite shoes. So if you wanted to pick one up, I definitely recommend that you check that video out. And I definitely recommend that you pick some up for yourself as well. All right, the last one on the list is going to be Converse CDGs. Now, when it comes to Converse CDGs, at this point, they're kind of a controversial shoe just because all the sneaker heads out there are going to say that, that it's a dead shoe that the trend was a long time ago but now they're completely dead but if you know me i don't care about trends at all if i like something and i think it looks good on me i'm going to wear it now this is another shoe that kind of costed a lot i picked it up from go for around 160 dollars at this point that's pretty much the only place where you can find them but for 160 it's not a terrible price there's really nothing special about it it's just the como de garçons logo that's pretty much it so so if you like that i definitely recommend that you get it but if you're not it's totally fine because they're pretty much the exact same as Converse CDGs, which is the shoe that I highly recommend if you're on a budget because they're only $85, especially the low top version, they are significantly cheaper. But anyways, those are my seven favorite shoes. That's pretty much my entire sneaker
sneaker collection. I barely really started getting into sneakers. So as time goes on, this collection is gonna definitely keep growing. So maybe later I'm gonna update it when I have all the shoes that I want. But for now, I feel like this is more than enough. The only reason why I have so many shoes is because I like to buy shoes and then make videos about them. That's the only reason why I have so many sneakers. But if you're into men's fashion and stuff, all you really need is three or four pairs, even less if they're very versatile shoes. But pretty much any shoe on this list, if you pick them up, they're pretty much gonna be able to be worn with anything in your wardrobe. So like I said, if you wanted to pick up any of them, they're all gonna be linked in the description. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. So I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.